Hey, it's Natalie from Natalia Style, and today I am so excited to share with you a mango spring shopping haul, as well as a spring capsule wardrobe for under $500. So I guess the concept of this video is to show you both my new arrivals that have come in from Mango as well as some ideas on how to style them for your wardrobe and to create a really cohesive spring on-trend capsule wardrobe. I'm gonna get right into the first portion of this video, just sharing my Mango finds in the kind of haul format. This massive box arrived. It's so big and there's so many great things inside here. But I'm gonna get right into it and there are so many amazing spring finds from Mango. And if you are in Canada, do not despair, all of this is duty free. So I know that Mango used to be in Toronto, but there's only one location left in Quebec City. I really hope they do open up one time with their locations. It would be great to shop some of these items in person, but I do order from Mango about one or two times per year. And I love to see what they have in for spring because I find that their quality is really nice. They have really beautiful feminine styles and they also come at a great price point. The first item I'm gonna feature is kind of like the hero product of this haul. So I actually saw this piece on Merit Beck, the Style Scribes blog, and she does these really wonderful capsule wardrobes, which kind of inspired me to do this video as well. And the way she styled this just worked with so many options. I thought it was just so genius and I had to have it for myself. So this is a beautiful green spring trench coat. And this was only 149 Canadian dollars, which is such a good price point for a trench. And it also comes with water repellent fabric. So I'm finding a lot of situations where you might find a trench, but it's not weatherproofed. But I think this is a great price point for one that you can wear no matter what the elements are in spring. It's really beautiful, has some really nice details, has this nice flap in the back. We have some nice kind of um, horn buttons in the front as well, which I think is a really nice detail. And it's this beautiful green kind of sage color. I have been seeing this color absolutely everywhere. I think it is such a beautiful, very refreshing color for spring. I find too often we kind of lean on like neutrals, like grays and beiges. I think it's a really great idea to pick up a staple piece like a trench in a really fun color because it makes you stand out and really shows off your personal style. I have a bunch of wool coats in fun colors like teal and light pink and light blue and I find they really just add a really nice touch to your outfits. This one's a great piece and I really like the way it fits. I bought it in a size small and for the price I think it's definitely a must buy. So next I'm gonna get into some knitwear and I picked up this really cute striped nautical sweater which I think is absolutely adorable. What I liked about this sweater in particular is that it has these really cute brass buttons and they are real metal and I just thought it was like a nice kind of touch and kind of elevates like a plain nautical Breton stripe sweater. Another thing that I also liked is how the sweater um, has the stripes with the lines continuing through. I think that makes it look a lot more high quality and is something I really like to look for in my clothing. The only thing, and probably the reason why I'm not gonna keep this sweater, is that I was a little bit disappointed when you wear the sweater, you kind of see this white line, like the, the buttons tend to gap, especially when you wear it on your body. For that reason alone, I think that kind of might dissuade me from it, but I think overall, if you're looking for a cute striped sweater, this is a great buy and it was really affordable as well. So the next knit I have here is so cute and it's probably my favorite piece from this entire haul, but it's this really cute mint wool cardigan. So it has this really boxy shape. It's kind of like a real kind of granny coat sweater, but I also love that it's really cropped. I think that kind of makes it fresh, like it's a little bit more modern. I actually did purchase this in a size large, which is kind of funny that both the size small sweater that I just showed you and a size large sweater from Mango fits me. But the reason why I bought a size large is because this was a sale item and it was the only size they had left. And I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna try it and hopefully since it's an open cardigan style, if it's oversized, it'll look fine and it does. It's honestly like the cutest little thing, it has a really nice kind of like open work design, which I think is super cute and feels a lot more high end. This is a wool blend as well, which is really nice. I find it very cozy if you layer this over a sweater. I think towards the spring, I'll start wearing it with like a little cami. And I think you could also wear this as a jacket on its own as well. It's just a super cute piece. Now this cardigan also comes in a beautiful lavender and I will say both the lavender 
and this mint are the it colors for spring 2021. If you are looking to kind of add some new life into your wardrobe, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you invest in some pieces or maybe just some fun like fast fashion pieces that are either in mint or in like that soft pale pastel lavender. Those two colors I have been seeing everywhere, both um, you know, on Instagram trends, on the runway, all these beautiful pastel hues are really big, but definitely greeny mint as a color that I keep seeing over and over and over again. And I think we are approaching into our like nine or 10 year cycle. And this color is just so fresh and lovely for spring. So the next item I have here is this beautiful white cotton blouse and it has this really fun oversized collar. Now I'm starting to think that this trend kind of originated with uh, Princess Diana's storyline being on the crown because throughout that season we saw uh, Emma Corrin who plays the character wear a lot of these oversized exaggerated uh, collars and I've been seeing them everywhere and they're really fun to wear. I would pair this probably under like a blazer or another cardigan like with that green cardigan it would look so cute and then you can pop these oversized collars out and it kind of makes that really fun kind of Poirot kind of inspired Princess Diana look which is really fun and I thought it was really interesting that Emma Corrin wore a Miu Miu dress to the Golden Globes and it had that same kind of large exaggerated collar so it's definitely a trend I think we're going to be seeing this spring. Overall, this is a really pretty blouse. And one thing to note is that this is made from sustainable cotton. So I've been noticing that Mango is definitely kind of taking a right step in terms of sustainability and they are having more sustainable fabrics and practices, which is great. It gives us as consumers a choice to make. And this is a really pretty cotton blouse. The price is a little bit higher than you might expect. I think this was about uh, $50, I'm not quite sure. But all of these items will be linked in the description box below if you wanna search them. I'll be linking to the US Mango website. But this blouse is just really pretty. I think it's called the Ibiza blouse. It has this really nice uh, kind of like lace embroidery that's uh, stitched on, so it's a really beautiful piece. The only thing, and it's probably the reason why I'm not gonna keep it, is the fact that it's a little bit too large for me. So this is actually a size medium, and I think it's way too big for me. I could have done with either a small or an extra small. It would have been probably way better for my frame. So definitely, if you're thinking about this blouse, I would size down one or two sizes, depending. But overall, it's a really nice piece. It has like a really soft kind of vintage cotton feel, which I like, and just a really cute shirt. So the next shirt I'm gonna share with you is a little bit of a wild card, I'll say. Um, I shared this in my stories and it kind of generated a lot of love and a lot of hate at the same time. But I think it's a really fun piece and really versatile. So I have been seeing the pleather shirt trend everywhere in the fall. And it's interesting to see this trend picked up in spring but with a lighter pastel color. So a little bit more of like a gentler pastel spring vibe feel treatment. Um, this is an interesting shirt and I think it's pretty well made for the price. The only thing that I'm a little bit concerned about is obviously overheating and sweating, but I think this is great if you're in Canada because our springs can be kind of cold at times. This one's interesting and it has some really nice details. There's some stitching along the back. There's some really nice button details along the cuff as well, which I think kind of elevates this shirt from being a little bit more bland and commonplace and just really interesting. Now the reason why I bought this is that I was interested in the shorts, which I'll show you in a moment, but the model was wearing the shirt tucked into the shorts and it just looks so good on the Mango website that I had to have the entire outfit because it looked so cool and so effortless and very different. Like this is not something I would normally wear. I think this can be worn a lot of ways. I would wear this buttoned up and tucked into a pair of jeans for like a really cool, very kind of modern edgy look, or you can also wear this as a shacket over, you know, like a casual white t-shirt with some denim, just a really cool piece that I think can be worn quite a few ways. So to match that shirt, I also have the shorts. So these are some pleather paper bag shorts. So these are vegan leather pieces, if that's something that interests you. Has this cute little belt here that you can tie up as well as the matching buttons. In the back, we have some back pockets as well as some side pockets, which I think is pretty nice. Like for the price, these are really nice details. I bought both pieces in a size medium. I think the shirt 
definitely size up. I went with a size medium and I'm super happy with that choice. The shorts, I think I probably am in between a size small and a size medium. They're definitely a little bit stretchy, which is kind of fun. Like normally leather kind of molds to your body, but this vinyl is very stretchy and very forgiving, which is a really interesting fabric quality. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be keeping the shorts because they are a little bit out there. I think I might try styling them with a few other pieces in my closet and I will be showing you later how I style these shorts as well. The last piece from my mango haul is actually the shirt I'm wearing in this video. So this is a really beautiful recycled polyester shirt and it was on sale, which was just a great deal. I really like this kind of um, frilly detailing here at the um, neckline, I guess. And I think the reason why is that it looks really good on Zoom. It's just a really nice design feature, especially when you're sitting on a video call or filming this video like I am now, and it just kind of adds some interest and some flair as well as some shape. So it's just a really pretty kind of billowy uh, chiffon blouse. It's very airy. I think you could layer this in winter underneath a sweater or underneath a blazer. And then in summer, I think this is just the perfect piece to wear with a pair of white jeans. So now that we finished the haul portion of this video, I wanted to get right into the spring capsule wardrobe and try on portion. So what I wanted to do with this part of the video is show you all the ways you can mix and match these pieces to create a beautiful, fresh spring wardrobe for under $500. spring shopping haul as well as my spring capsule wardrobe for under $500. I hope this video really inspired you to add some new life into your wardrobe and kind of explore some spring trends and maybe even think about creating a capsule wardrobe for yourself. If you like this video please remember to like and subscribe and you can check out more on my website nataliastyleblog.com. You can also follow me on Instagram at natalieast. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.